Hey, this is Dexter. In this video, we'll be learning about the derivatives of trigonometric functions as well as the equations of tangents and normals. The question begins by proving that the derivative of cosine to the power of 4 theta plus sine to the power of 4 theta is equal to p sine of q theta, where p and q are whole numbers. Using the result in part 1, we are required to find the exact value of theta for which the graph of y equals to cosine to the power of 4 theta plus sine to the power of 4 theta has a horizontal tangent if theta is acute. This question is from Tanjong Katong Secondary 2021 Preliminary Examination for GCE O Level Additional Mathematics. Pause to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching. To differentiate cosine to the power of 4 theta plus sine to the power of 4 theta, we will need the formula for the derivative of the cosine function. We will start the differentiation by bringing down the power to be a product, and the original power will minus 1. So for the power of 4, we will bring it down to be a product and the original power minus 1 will give us a 3. Next, we will differentiate the trigo function of cosine, giving us a negative sign. Then, we will end it off by differentiating the angle of f of x to give us f prime of x. And in our case, differentiating theta will give a result of 1. We will apply the same power trigo angle technique for the derivative of sine function. First, we bring down the power of 4 to be a product and the original power will minus 1 to be 3. Next, differentiating a sine function will give a positive cosine function. Lastly, we will differentiate the angle of theta to give us a result of 1. We will then simplify this derivative result by factoring out the common term of 4 sine theta cosine theta. To get the required proving to a sine function in the equation, we need to apply the double angle formula for sine we will convert 4 sine theta cosine theta into 2 sine 2 theta. We will also require the double angle formula for cosine, where we will convert sine square theta minus away cosine square theta to give us negative cosine 2 theta. Lastly, we will simplify the result by applying the double angle formula for sine again to give us negative sine 4 theta. A horizontal tangent will have a gradient to be 0 and that means we have to set dy over d theta to be equal to 0. We will now equate the result of negative sine 4 theta from part 1 to be equal to 0. Since the angle in our equation is 4 theta, we need to convert the range from theta to 4 theta by multiplying 4 to give us a range of 0 to 2 pi, not inclusive. As our equation involves 0, it will be easier to infer the answers from the graph of sine function where it begins at the origin. You will then move up to the maximum of 1 at half pi, and then you will return to the center at pi followed by the minimum of negative 1 at 1.5 and pi, and ending off the period of 2 pi at the center. As the range does not include 0 and 2 pi, we will now eliminate the first and last pair of coordinates. We will also eliminate away the maximum of 1 and minimum of negative 1, as we are only interested when the sine function is 0 from our equation. This leaves us with only one possible solution, when the sine function is 0 at the angle of pi, which will now set 4 theta to be equal to pi. Solving for theta will give us a quarter pi, and that's the final answer to this question. Let's practice another similar question from Anderson Secondary 2021 Preliminary Examination. In part 1, show that sine square x minus away 2 sine x divided by 1 minus away cosine 2 x is equal to half multiplied to 1 minus away 2 cosecant x. Next, find the tangent equation to the curve where x equal to pi over 4. Pause to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. As the angle on the left side of the proving equation is double the angle on the right side, we will require the use of double angle formula for cosine. Since the end state of the proving equation involves cosecant x, which is the reciprocal of sine x, we will apply cosine 2a to be equal to 1 minus away 2 sine square a in our denominator. At the same time, we will also factor out the common term of sine x in the numerator. We will now simplify the denominator, so that we are able to cancel away sine x to the top and bottom to simplify it to half multiplied by sine x minus 2 divided by sine x. Next, we will split the single fraction into two fractions by taking sine x divided by sine x in the first fraction. Then, we subtract away 2 over sine x as our second fraction. We will now convert 2 over sine x into 2 cosecant x from the reciprocal trigonometric ratios, where 
cosecant theta is the same as 1 divided by sine theta. We will begin part 2 of the question by writing the equation to be y equal to half minus wave 1 over sine x from the previous answer. Our first derivative of y will require the use of the quotient rule of differentiation. When we begin by squaring the bottom of sine x to give us sine square x and the denominator. Then, we copy the bottom which is sine x into the numerator, followed by the differentiation of the top of 1 giving us 0. We will then subtract away the top and multiply it by the differentiation of the bottom where we differentiate sine x to give us cosine x. Next, we simplify the numerator to give us dy over dx to be equal to cosine x divided by sine square x. With the curve equation, as well as the gradient function of dy over dx found, we will proceed by replacing x to be a quarter pi into the curve equation to find the value of y. And our coordinates of the tangent point turn out to be pi over 4, comma, half minus the square root 2. Next, we will substitute x to be a quarter pi into our dy over dx to give us a value of square root 2. Thus, the gradient of our tangent is square root 2. With a pair of coordinates and the gradient of the tangent, we will now form the equation of the tangent by replacing y1 to be half minus the square root 2 and x1 to be pi over 4. We will then complete this linear equation by filling in the gradient which is square root 2. And that's the equation of the tangent. Did you manage to get the answers? Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today and see you in the next episode of Practical Math.